Hi, good morning everyone. My name is Manawar. I'm, I'm an aviation trainer. Mm, this is part 3 of the ground handling. So today we'll be discussing about ATC. What is ATC? ATC means Air Traffic Control. Air Traffic Control is a service provided by the ground-based controllers who direct the aircraft on the ground and through controlled airspace. So there is an airspace. Airspace. What is the airspace? Once the aircraft airborne into the air, and then there is the airspace which is being controlled. So we have a direction which is being taking place between the pilot, between the ground. So this is nothing but uh, through the controlled airspace, and I can provide advisory services to the aircraft in non-controlled airspace. There are some controlled airspace and non-controlled airspace. Well, let's see, for example, if the place is you are in the place called uh, uh, Dubai. Once the aircraft departs from ATC in Dubai, it is in control of the ATC controller, air traffic controllers in Dubai. Okay, in Dubai, that area. Once the aircraft leaves that area of the Dubai, it reaches to Abu Dhabi, which is about uh, 30 minutes or 25 minutes from the point of journey. Then it reaches to other 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 place, the other ATC takes over. Uh, and that's how it happens in uh, various destinations and various air, air traffic controllers, okay, air traffic test system. So that means if the airport, if the aircraft is departing from Dubai, so air traffic is controlled, completely in control of the uh, aircraft. Once it leaves to the other destination, and then it will, the other ATC will take over. And from that ATC, it goes to, let's see, from Abu Dhabi, it went to Riyadh, the Riyadh ATC, which is situated in Saudi Arabia, the ATC, which is present in uh, in Riyadh will, will, will take over. So ATC is a service provided by the ground-based controllers who direct the aircraft on ground and through controlled airspace and can provide advisory services to aircraft in non-controlled airspace. Okay, thus the primary purpose of the ATC worldwide is to provide is to prevent collisions, organize and expedite the flow of traffic. So the, let's see, for example, if you have various aircraft are approaching together at the same point of time, there is an ATC which plays an important role in having a separate, minimum separate distance between the aircraft in order for him to avoid the collision. Okay, so uh, expedite the flow of the traffic and provide information and other supports for pilots. In some countries, ATC plays a security or defensive role, or is operated by the military. Some of the countries it plays, uh, uh, it is operated by the by an operator or a military. In some of the some of the other countries where there is no not in control of the air traffic control, you don't have a pro, you don't have a uh, you don't have a system where you have a, an adequate number of air traffic control. That that in that situation the military plays an important role. It also a safety and security point of view as well. Okay, for information. So let's move to the in the same topic. Uh, next, the ground handling operations. Now we distinguish ground handling operations into two major categories. Okay, one is the air side. Air side means the operation which takes place all the aircraft's movements once you enter from the concourse, from the concourse goes to the ramp, from the ramp to the where the aircraft is being handled. Where all the activities like baggage handling, cargo handling, this is all air side. Land side is a place where before you enter it into the airport, where there's a building concourse being situated, where the checking is taking place. That is, but nothing but the land side as well as air side. Okay, I hope you understand this topic. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to ask me. I'm always there at your help to guide you through. Ramp, what is ramp services? This is a very, very tricky and the major topic in the ramp services, which takes place in the airport operation. First one is the supervision. Every aircraft needs to be supervised for in order for you to depart in and out of the aircraft. Okay, so this plays an important role. Okay, so uh, every aircraft is being monitored once it comes to the airport from the point of the landing to the point of the uh, to the point of uh, uh, to the point of uh, departure it's always been taken care of okay marshalling marshalling nothing but is guiding the aircraft with the proper method of communication between the captain and to the ground staff who is present in the airport okay so that is called marshalling we'll be studying more on the different kinds of marshalling sim symbols and i'll be going through a few of the main important uh, marshalling things for information the second third one is a startup startup 
and the fourth one is the moving slash towing of aircraft the fifth one is the safety measures you will be studying more on this uh, in step by step well i'll be discussing more on this okay the first one is marshalling marshalling in the air site like marshalling is very 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 important because some of the airports doesn't have the phenomenon of vgdas it's called visual guidance display system where you, the captain uh, doesn't have the facility some of the small airport doesn't have vgdas uh, okay we are talking about the major things the marshalling okay if it is this symbol yeah all the aircraft is clear if it is this one chocks inserted what is chock we'll be studying on more on this chocks inserted the chocks removed then uh, we have move ahead, move ahead, place yourself uh, facing ahead, place yourself facing ahead. Okay, we have a different symbols left, right moments, and then stop, push back. These are the various symbols which is being used in the marshalling, in run services, in air sight. Uh, so, few of the symbols which will be you will be discussing on this. Of course, uh, the might if you are applying for the job of the marshaller, you are asked to provide few of the few of these symbols in order for you to for you to get through. Okay, it's just very relatively very simple. It's just quite a bit of a practice called uh, two three times, then you'll be better used to it. So let's move to the next uh, thing for today. Uh, we'll be studying aircraft services on ramp. What are the different aircraft services which takes place on ramp? We'll be studying more on this. Please stay tuned to the next part uh, uh, part three of my channel. So, so you'll be discussing more on this. Please stay tuned. Keep on subscribing to my channel. Keep on liking my channel. Provide comments. Always feel free to contact me. I'm there to help you. Okay. This will give you the best education which you would ever come across in an airport operations as I possess excellent experience of the airline industry. Thank you. Have a nice day.